What is up guys, it is Nisho here, and so today I'm going to talk to you guys about what happened this past weekend at the UDS. So, um, this past weekend, Pendulum Magicians did actually end up taking the uh, the win at, you know, what can be considered one of the biggest tournaments, just because a lot of good players were there. Um, so, it was real crazy that a deck like Pendulum Magician would um, end up getting the win, and... It was even in every single duel in the top eight, like every single matchup had at least one Pendulum Magician um, deck in it. So it kind of seemed like like if you were uh, following the tournament on the Konami blog, like you could see like, okay, so Pendulum Magicians are actually real good this format after this ban list, you know, with Wavering Eyes going up to three. Because, you know, Wavering Eyes is just stupid broken, um, especially in a deck where you benefit off of destroying your own Pendulum Scales, uh, both of their effects activate or, you know, um, you guys know how magicians work, you know, they have effects that activate when they're destroyed on the field, so a card like Wavering Eyes just does it real well, you know, you can use it to counter stuff like your opponent's, uh, Twin Twisters, but you can also use it for yourself to, uh, you know, um, just search another Pendulum Monster, any Pendulum Monster, in that regard, and, um, you know, uh, activate your effects at the same time. And, you know, with cards like Ashograph Sorcerer, where if your pendulums are destroyed, you get to special summon it and then search another copy of it, um, it just makes it a whole lot more consistent. And if you search Ashograph Sorcerer with um, something like Wavering Eyes or Star Pendulum Graph, well, not Star Pendulum Graph, but with Wavering Eyes, um, you actually still get to special summon out Ashograph Sorcerer because, um, you know, the, the pendulum scales were still destroyed um, in that previous chain. So it opens up that response window. Um, because uh, he was searched in the resolution of the effect, and since Wavering Eyes is one of those cards that uh, destroys and searches at the same time, um, it, it just works out well in Pendulum Magician's favor. So Pendulum Magician's was just one of those decks um, when, you know, obviously it came out like, uh, I think, 2015, late 2015, but it didn't really do too well, you know, it was like here and there, uh, before Palm Magician was better, so... Um, but when Pendulum Evolution came out, like, that would be the support that would make, uh, Pendulum Magicians its very own strong deck, and it just ended up flunking, because Pendulum Evolution ended up being, like, one of the worst sets ever, um, there wasn't enough good reprints, um, it was, it should have been a structure deck, but, uh, Konami made it a full set, and although, um, Pendulum Magicians themselves, uh, were in the set, and they were all hollow, um, they still ended up being, like, all less than a dollar each, just because nobody really cared about the set. Master Rule 4 was, like, being implemented in a month, so, um, a lot of people were quick to put Pendulum Magician down. But, um, Konami did try to give it a little buff with bringing up Wisdom Eye and Pendulum Call to 3, you know, just to have more people interested in the deck, see what it can do. And, you know, behold, the deck isn't actually hurt by Link Format. Um, if anything... The only reason why the deck can do so well is because, you know, Zoos and True Dracos, both of those decks have real easy ways to bring out um, a quick effect once per turn uh, the destruction cards. So it will be hard for Pendulum Magicians to set up because, um, you know, instead of you being able to destroy your cards on your own leisure, your opponent would be destroying your cards and it would ruin your combos. So now, um, since Zoos and True Dracos, well, not, not True Dracos as much, but Zoos are pretty much gone and True Dracos aren't as strong as they used to be, or even as consistent as they used to be. So, you know, Magicians are just in a good spot to, um, to, like, take over the meta until we get, you know, um, another set, or, you know, something else happens in the game. And, um, cards like Duelist Alliance and Star Pendulum Guard just make the deck so consistent. Um, like, if anything, the Pendulum Magicians can destroy themselves on scale, if, if need be. And, you know, when they're destroyed, they get to search um, by themselves. So it just makes the deck really consistent. And um, a card like Apex Avion, which I made a video about saying that it should have been reprinted in Pendulum Evolution if Konami really wanted to sell that set. They should have put a few more money cards in that set. Um, and, ho behold, Pendulum, uh, Miss Alley Apex Avion just shoots up this, this weekend just because... Um, 
I don't know if it was because of a YouTuber said it was good or if it was because um, people just saw a lot of Pendulum Magician decks um, in the top tables of uh, the UDS. Um, it's probably a mixture of both. So people just went out, uh, crazy buyouts, went from like $9 to $30. So if you didn't have them already uh, and you're trying to play Pendulum Magician, I kind of feel a little sorry for you, but um, that's just how the second the secondary market is sometimes. So yeah, Pendulum Magician's finally making a name for themselves, and um, I think it's pretty cool because you know Magician was just one of those decks that just got underappreciated um, when you know it came out. Although it did have it, you know most decks always carry their fan base, but you know a lot of the community usually shun those decks just because they're like, oh you're not good. Well. You can stay in the corner. And so I think it's nice that they finally made, made a name for themselves. Um, so that's really all I got for now. Um, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Um, have you guys tried out Punch Magician? Do you guys think it's a, it's a, a good option for this format? Or moving on um, when you get more decks. Um, how do you guys feel about Pendulum decks and Link format in general? Because I know um, I couldn't play Ignites anymore. That was just one of the decks I really wanted to play, and you know I kind of can't play them anymore. But with Triple Rescue Rabbit, um, you know the options just might be open. So uh, yeah, that's that's all for now. See you guys later. Peace out.